hello and welcome to this new video. Today, uh, I, it's been like about a week and a half since I updated to the new iOS 5.1 and uh, basically, as I, I just mentioned in my previous videos, it promised to have new features and especially it's supposed to give hope to for the people that had problems with the battery since the battery on the with the new update uh, the 5.01 the previous update to the 5.1 was really low now just to um, give a summary I again a, a week and a half ago I installed in the 5.1 and I really was having problems with my battery it was draining really fast and uh, much faster than before. So before my phone lasted maybe a day, a day and a half, uh, no, always never more than a day and a half, but at least it lasted 24 hours with uh, low to moderate usage. Now, after that update, it lasted me less than a day. So if I charge the phone, I charge the phone in the morning, uh, uh, later in the later afternoon, it will be dead already. But that's really terrible for a phone. It should have last last a little one day, in my opinion. So uh, that, that's the predicament with this update. Now I've been looking online for many solutions. I try to see uh, what people are saying. Again, half of the people seems to have pro the same problem, and half of the people seem to actually have a, a better battery life. Now, for those half of the people that are like me, they uh, seems to be some kind of solution, and I actually uh, was willing to give it a try. And I have to say that after trying it, it did improve my battery life and the uh, performance of the battery. So I'm gonna share it with you. This solution, or that again, I must. Uh, I must say that it's not uh, the final uh, mighty solution, but it has helped me a lot with the battery. Now my battery, my phone is not as good as it was before. It was before, but it at least is lasting me a full day. So at least you know it's uh, it's something in between. So what is the solution? Let's cut to the chase. Well, all you have to do is reset the settings of the phone to the original settings um, of the phone when it was new. So this is a safe procedure. It doesn't destroy any of the files. It doesn't remove any of your apps that you have downloaded. It doesn't touch your songs, your movies. It doesn't even touch your emails. It doesn't affect absolutely nothing. The only thing that it does affect is resetting the settings of the phone. What are the settings? Of the, uh, what are some examples of the settings of the phone? Is for example those. Uh, the wireless password for wireless networks. So you do reset the phone, it's gonna ask you again for the passwords. Uh, other things that are affected, for example, if you added uh, different languages to the phone, like different key, key um, keyboards, you're gonna have to redo that. Also, the logins of certain uh, websites that were stored in the settings will be deleted, so you're gonna have to put your password again for the Apple Store, the, and also for the, your Apple ID and uh, password to have access to things like the Apple Store. Another thing that you're gonna have to do again is uh, uh, activate uh, instant messaging, and also, of course, login into your um, Apple ID or Apple account so you can use FaceTime. But these are most of the things that you will have to do. So they are really not a lot. It takes about two to three minutes to reset all this to, to how they were before. And uh, I think the benefit really outweighs the, the five minute works that is gonna take you to reboot all the settings. So how to do this? All you have to do is go to the settings here then scroll all the way down, all the way down. Actually, sorry, uh, settings, then general. Now you scroll all the way down to the option that says reset. Be careful here when you touch this because there are many kinds of resets. The one way you're gonna do is reset all settings. It's the first option. And again, after you click that, it's gonna, it's gonna ask you, this will reset settings and no data or media will be deleted. So just, just go ahead, press reset all settings. I'm gonna cancel here. And uh, there is something that you have to remember after you do this. After is, uh, the phone is gonna restart, of course, all the settings are gonna be erased and uh, 
it's going to ask you if uh, when the phone restarts if you want to recover the settings from an iCloud account it's very important that you choose no and that you set the phone as a new phone I'm not sure why it's important but the instructions uh, that I checked in many websites say so so just uh, for for safety just choose set the phone as a new phone after you do that you know you just have to put your Apple ID and fill the different things and your phone will be ready in just a few minutes so what is the sec that's the pre first part or, uh, that you have to do it seems that that resetting does something and uh, um, of course I'm not sure why but it does has affected the battery life of my phone it has improved it and is a significant improvement so I strongly uh, recommend you to do it and you really just don't lose anything trying even uh, you will only lose about five minutes of your time to have to reset all the settings and uh, finally the last thing I, I want to do is that uh, together with this procedure of resetting the settings people are recommending also that uh, after you do that let the phone discharge a hundred percent let the phone die and turn off and then charge it again to a hundred percent do this at least one in other words condition the battery by letting it die and then recharge it and your phone should have a better ba battery life after this well let me know what you think let me know if, if it worked for you if it improved it uh, if this uh, advice uh, was helpful and really thank you for watching